What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean on the run, Kershaw. And I'm gonna take y'all inside my hunting spot for a few minutes and see what y'all think about it. I got my son, Zach, with me. He gonna help me out today. We are gonna get down here and see what's going on. I'm gonna take over for a little bit while right he on the phone. We made it to the location. I'm driving a, a silver Silverado, a, a silver Tundra. I mean. Dude, I don't even know what kind of truck he got. Sweet, you come down the street from straight on down. We're down here on the trail. We way off in here. Man. Way off in here. We're finna get some bush work done. Man, and tell you the truth, man, I don't even got my hunting license. You know, it's something that I haven't really been, haven't really been too. You know, to trying to trying to try my hardest to get it, but I need to because you know I'm 24 right now. My son too, and my dad turned 50 this year, I think. And, you know, I just want to get those experiences with my pop. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something that I want to do with him. You know, a bunch of experience with my dad. Because everybody know life don't last forever, but spend time with your people. So right now we waiting on the guy with the back hole to come down. He finna clear some trails out. And get it ready for my dad's hunting season. He sound like he finna leave me. Let me catch up with Here we go in the 2021 hunting season. Your boy Sean on the run, Kershaw, and my son Zach behind the camera. So oh, we're yeah. gonna get it cracking this year. See how many deer we can bring out them bushes because we love them tenderloins, y'all. Love them. Straight facts. Set out, get a field with corn, and we just gonna set this aside for a minute. We're gonna keep pushing all the mosquitoes. This deer feeder, probably about $10 to make. What do you think? About $10? Yep. Last year, feed it for season. Yeah, Big five gallons. Now I'm trying something new this year. I got a buddy that made his own watering hole. And I'm going to try a watering hole this year. So I'm going to get out here and we're going to dig a hole. And we're going to put this in there and fill it with water from the creek down the hill. We're going to try to get them deers a smorgasbord, a buffet, or whatever they want to eat. Whatever they want, salt, leeks, corn, whatever they want, I'm going to put it out there get it out here on this property. We do this in about three spots. Hopefully, we'll get that big buck with you. But I, I really ain't a horn hunter. I'm more of a meat eater. So, we're going 
we fill our freezer with those before we do anything else. So y'all keep an eye on me. Made a lot of progress already. to the next spot. On to the next spot. Let's hope I don't get smacked by a tree. <laughs> What does that look like to you?
way to the next spot. Pulling up on it now. Where we like to come shoot at in this area right here. Look, walk in front of Nanny. There you go. He catching up with y'all. This way, Nike. This way. Oh, goodness gracious. You okay? Yeah. Here, put your hat back on. We're going this way, baby. I've been out here, we've been out here planting off the deer bushes all day, getting uh, Got it? the field and yeah. middle of the block put out. But before we leave, the guy gave me some mini shotgun shit. And I don't even know they're a cycle, so I brought out my dad's old shotgun. And I'm gonna see if these things are running this old shotgun. Alright, y'all. Watch. Alright, we got it all loaded up with the mini shells, and we're gonna see if they're running my dad's old shotgun. Now this old baby probably about I'm gonna give it 30 years old, but we're gonna see what she'll do. You ready? You ain't even feed me, dude. That's it.
What you think about it? It did pretty good. It ran pretty good, so I ain't mad at them. I'll try it again when I get this thing home and cleaned up and see what she'll do. So what's the what's the usual capacity on that thing? Well, this thing usually holds about five, three and a half inch buck shots. Mm -hmm. But with this, it's supposed to hold 10 of these. How many did you try to cycle through now? I shot five. Well, I shot four. Mm -hmm. one, it had a little trouble with it, but we'll get it right. Would you trust your light behind them? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yet. We'll see. Time to bring out the shot wave. Got me a little Mossberry 590 shot wave. I wanted this for a while. I had another semi-automatic shotgun. And I ain't, I shot it two times. I had it for like five years. So I went ahead and sold it. But I always wanted a shot wave. Hand shot it since last year. Hand been clean since I had it. Let's give it a cycle. Cowboy, if you was wondering. Oh, my <laughs> oh, my Pops for a time shooting it. Why right, you two? Let's see what my son's shot where he's gonna do. How'd you speak that on you? I don't know. I'm All right, let's see what she'll do. I'm impressed with the shot blade. I mean, this compact got a good snade. That, that thing there. It's my home defense. defense. Yeah, I'm I'm planning on doing a few things to it, flashlight and all that. Hey, home defense, this baby here will turn a corner. <laughs> I mean it'll, it'll turn a corner. And I and I got it I got it in 20 gauge because because it's been with it being such a short barrel pistol grip shotgun, I wasn't sure how to 12 gauge. The 12 gauge hit hard. This this got a little kick to it, but it ain't terrible though. 20 gauge. 10 out of 10, I recommend. This is my wife, Melissa. You notice you ain't seen her in none of the time we was hauling stuff and walking down <laughs> this bush. But all of a sudden, the fun stuff started going along. <laughs> and here comes Melissa. <laughs> so, here she goes. She's going to shoot both of these shotguns and see what she think about it. Hold it tight now. Hold it tight. Do it again. Rack it again. That was the last one. Yep. What'd you think about it, Mo? It was pretty smooth, I thought. Mm -hmm. Pretty smooth shot. First time shooting something like that? No, I shot a shotgun before. Not like that though, but yeah, not off the hip. But what you think about the recoil? It was pretty smooth, I manageable. Was, yeah. Would you recommend a woman getting this? Mm, yeah. Yeah. I can handle it pretty good. Yeah, I mean, 